Hello everybody, my name is Blind Senpai, and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. I am bounty hunting again here, uh, but I'm going to find some new hunting ground. So I got a new uh, location queued up already. It's a couple jumps away, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to find something good when we arrive there. So I'm going to leave this station and get on our way. Looks like I'm gonna have to do complete 180 as soon as I get out of here. Um, but I am mass locked right now, so I have to clear myself away from the station before I can do anything really. Should we go pretty quick? And there we go. my super cruise and as soon as I align with my destination right there I will engage my hyperdrive and this is how I travel 5.11 light years away um, I think I can go up to a little over 10 light years away with this ship in a single jump. So here we are in hyperdrive. Going extremely fast. And there we go. So that's one jump done. Then I have one other jump that I need to do to uh, this location, YZ City. And here we go. I will make this jump and then we are almost to our location already. So you can see that traveling around an Elite Dangerous is uh, pretty interesting. just because it's scaled um, realistically, so we'll see how long it'll take to get to our uh, planet that we'll be hunting by. And I'll open up the system map here. I think I have the planet marked, but maybe not. I'm actually going to be going to this planet here. So I'll lock that. So I'm getting pretty close to the target now. Uh, one trick, if uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with this when you're in super cruise, is to go full throttle until the time is about seven seconds. Uh, and then cut it down to 75% throttle. And that way you will not overshoot the target. Uh, but you can get there quicker and more efficiently. So that's a pretty cool trick. And you can see the planet coming into view. See if we can find some resource extraction sites once we get there. Looks like we got some stuff coming in. We got a hazardous one there, which I'm not too keen on doing. We got a high there, another high there. Looks like we got some options for this, uh, for a hunting ground here. We got a low one, so I think I'm gonna go to this one right here. All right, and we are getting pretty close to our destination now. It'll be coming into view very shortly.
and I'll have to make sure that I uh, fix up my super cruise at the right time so I don't smack into a whole bunch of asteroids. There we go. That should be good. And it is. Cool. So now, I just gotta wait for some pirates to come by. And we'll see if this is a good location or not. So I don't see anything yet, but I will keep an eye on my contact list. Target destroyed. And hopefully something will come in the area soon. And it looks like I finally got a target here. Uh, but this is an Imperial Clipper and I don't know if I'll be able to handle him alone. I'm going to have to wait for some security to spot him as well. Which hopefully won't take too long. But I'll just keep an eye on him. Alright, looks like he is getting attacked now. So... Shields go down and his hull starts to take some damage. I will step in and finish him off. See, he dropped the chaff there. That's why my gimbals are going all over the place. There we go. Now I can step in. We'll take him out really quick. And he is going to drop quickly, as you can see. And there we go, 85,000 credits. Not a bad bounty at all. Let's see if we can find some more like that. And here we go. Got a vulture right here. Got a lot of people attacking him right now. So it should be a pretty easy kill as well. I'm just gonna double check, but I'm pretty sure I can attack him. Probably should have checked that before, but yeah, he is. He is an open target. And he is just about a dead target. Alright, 58,000 credits, so a very short time. We seem to be picking up a good amount of ships that we can target here. And here's another one already. Just gonna double check that as well. Oh no, he is Federation, so I do not want to attack him. Alright, I seem to be having some trouble finding any more pirates, so I've been kind of just flying around for a little while. Um, I don't see anything, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head to a different um, extraction site, and we'll see if this other one maybe is a little bit better than this current one. So, just have to make sure I'm not mass locked, which I currently am. And there we go, so I will, as soon as I bring my weapons in, I will, uh, Use my super cruise, clear some distance, and then head over to the other location. And hopefully, have more luck there. So I have to make sure that I don't uh, get into the atmosphere of the planet. So I'm just gonna keep it in my sight there and maneuver around it. 
Looks like this other site is on the opposite side. I don't know if this ship is quite capable of handling that hazardous zone, but that is probably a pretty good area as well, otherwise. So, alright, looks like I should be able to make a hard turn for it now. And I'm getting pretty close to it now. So almost time to disengage my super crews. And there we go. So we'll get in nice and close to this extraction site and then see if we can find some pirates to attack. Alright, it looks like we got one right here. And I don't remember even seeing that one on the list, so I don't think I have to worry about it. Nope. And it looks like he's actually scanning me to see if I'm carrying anything, which I am not. But I'm just here to attack pirates. We actually have another guy here. And I think that is an independent. I should be able to take down a Cobra Mark III, so I'm going to do that quick. And hopefully it works out. Shouldn't be too hard of a fight, I don't think. But hopefully I'm not wrong about that. Uh, and he's got some beam lasers. And... Where is he? There he is. He's trying to outmaneuver me. Just about got a shield stone. Just keeping him in front of my ship so my gimbals can stay on him. As soon as the shields go down, he should... Oh wow, he's actually his shields are going back up now. He's not even shooting at me though, which is kind of weird. There he goes. Now oh, he's shooting at me again. Shields are down. And now, if I can keep him in view, he should go pretty quickly. He's already down to 50%. And dropping. So my shields are all, also offline now, so I'll be careful with that, but should be okay. As he is just about done for. Alright. 30,000 credits, not too bad. So we'll see if we can find that other ship again. Ah, right, here we go. This should be a target I can take out. Just gonna double check it again, and yes. So I'm actually not sure what size ship an adder is. So I'll try to get in on them and just kind of scope it out. Doesn't look like it should be a threat really. Alright, I'll start taking them out and we'll see if uh, this goes well for me. Looks like your shields are just about down already, so... Yeah, this seems like this will be an easy kill. Just 
now getting some fire on me and he's already at 50% hull damage. Trying to do a flyby on me. What is that ship that just kind of whipped into the area? I'm not sure if that was a security ship, it must be. It's like they killed them, but 18,000 credits, it's not bad either. So, I think I'm actually, um, I'm actually going to just go back to a station now. I'll show you guys, um, this station. I've definitely been here before. So, I will just, uh, get out of mass lock. And we'll go collect the bounties. All right, so I just engaged my super cruise not too long ago. Uh, the planet is still in view right down there. Just passing by it now. Uh, but you can see the station is actually pretty close, which is one of the reasons that I wanted to come here as well. Seems like uh, being this close to a station should be very beneficial when I need to resupply. So I will definitely probably stick around here for at least a little bit. And there we go. So there is the station. So as soon as I get into 7.5 kilometers, I can request to dock. Like so. Uh, and you can see right there is the entrance to the uh, space station here. So here we go. Just gotta put my ship right through that gap there. So this is uh, kind of what I was saying in the last video. How it's it's not a very big thing, but it's just a small detail that I think is really fun about this game. Um, and you can see that there's different landing areas, and I was assigned to pad 44. So I'll head over there. And there we go, I'm just about there. And there we go. So I successfully landed. I'll go claim my Bounty, bounties that I got. So, almost 200,000 credits. Not too bad for not being out there very long. So I will definitely take it. Incoming message. And then I was going to restock everything so I can go back out when I want to. And that is it. That's where I'm going to wrap video guys so i hope you enjoyed this uh thank you so much for watching um if you're enjoying uh me playing elite dangers let me know down in the comments and hit a like on this video uh make sure you subscribe to my channel because i upload videos every single day and i'll see you guys in the next video bye